Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly and let's take a look at the match function in Excel. Now the match function actually accepts three inputs. The first one is what are you trying to look up? The second one is where are you trying to look up and is your match type exact or not? Let's just explore the match function. Now even before I start to kind of build the formula and explain you how it works, let me just first tell you what the match function does. So take a look at a little infographic here. Assume that you are the orange one and if I ask you that if I start counting from the left hand side, what position are you standing on? So let's count one, two, three, four and you would write four here because you're standing on the fourth position. Let's say if you do that uh, here where the, where the infographic is kept uh, vertically. So let's start counting from the top one, two, three and you're, st you're standing on the third position. So you would write number three here. That's exactly what the match function does it gives you the position number and I want you to take a note of that always do not get confused in what the match function does because match function will always and always gives you the position number of whatever you are trying to look for. Now let's give the match function a bit more perspective and let's try and see that how the formula works. First let's take a look at a data which is kept horizontally. Uh, in this data, I already have 200 here and I'm trying to find that on what position is 200 kept. So I'm going to write equals to match equals to M-A-T-C-H. The first thing in the match is what are you trying to look for? So I am trying to look for this value. And the second input in match is where are you trying to look for? This is the array. So I pick up the array and I select it. And the third input in the match is, is your match type exact, less than or greater than? I'm not discussing the greater than and the less than as of now, but let's say that our match type is exact. And most of the times it is going to be zero. So three inputs in match, what are you trying to match? Where are you trying to match? And is your match type exact or not? And I press enter. Remember the match function gives you the position number. So it's gonna give me that where is 200 kept in this entire array. So it's going to start counting. So one, 200 is not found, not found, not found, found. And it's going to give you number four. Why? Because 200 is kept on number four and it gives you number four. Let's say if I write 119, it will see 119 is kept on the first position. It will give you number one. If you say 180 is, is kept on the last position and it's going to give you number seven. Let's take a look at how match works vertically. So you have a couple of names here. Oops, you have, let's say a couple of names here and you have the name written here and I want to find out the position number of this name. So I'm going to say equals to match three things in match. What are you trying to match? Where are you trying to match? And uh, is the match type exact or not? So zero for that. Close the bracket, press enter. Susan is kept on the second position. It's going to give you number two. You change that to, let's say Natasha and it's going to give you number six. Why? Because Natasha is kept on the sixth position. Well, a couple of uh, things that um, you have to be careful about in the match function is that let's say if there are two Natasha's here. So let's say if I change the name of Danny to Natasha is going to find the position of the first Natasha, not the second one, right? So match only finds the position of the first value found. The second thing that you have to take, uh, um, you know, keep in mind when you're using the match formula is that match formula only works when you have a single dimensional array. What I mean is that there are three parts in match, find what, find where, and do you have an exact match or not. The second part of the match, which asks you for the range of data has to be either a single column or a single row. If you select multiple columns and multiple rows, match is going to give you, sorry, match is going to give you an error, right? You see that? So match can only look for in the single column or it can look for in the single row. So here also, if you see, we have used the match formula in the single row. If I have multiple rows, let's say two rows here and I press enter, this is going to give me an array, any. All right, so that was the match function. Uh, you can use it with the index with the VLOOKUP very efficiently and it, it automates a hell lot of things for you. I hope you like this video. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, on YouTube, and you can also read all our blogs at goodly.co.in. Thank you so much for watching this and you take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.